So this video is about the Yamaha F115 LB. That's um, 115 horsepower 2020 model. Um, and we're gonna do a hundred hour oil change on it. Um, it's I believe it's the 2018 up to the 2020. Um, and 2021 if the model has not changed. So it's the F115 LB. Um, and uh, it's basically for 300 hours service, you need to do an impeller replacement, water pump replacement, and that's about a thousand bucks roughly, give or take, uh, at the dealership. So you can probably get it cheaper at a local marine mechanic, but that's at the Yamaha dealership. Um, the 100 hour service does not require that, so you can get away with uh, about, uh, I checked with them and the service is about $600, but if you buy the parts, then it is roughly about $300, so saves you a bit of money. Um, these are the part numbers. Um, and we'll go through these one by one, so you can see what's included. Um, so what's involved in the 100 hours service? So I might film these, but uh, I don't know if I have time to film these, but yeah, I might be able to film these. But anyway, I'm covering the basic uh, requirements of the 100 hours service. So the first thing is inspect the anodes. That's obvious. Um, Inspect battery terminals, that's obvious too. Cowling lock lever, make sure it locks. Um, the engine idle noise, make sure it's proper. So all these basically is just inspections. Um, engine oil and oil filter replacement. So here's the oil filter. And I'll try and, uh, let's see if it has a useful yeah, there you go. So that's the oil filter. It's a 5GH13440-71. And that is the oil filter assembly. You can see the part number. 5GH13440-70-00. And that's $21, $22 almost. So it's not too bad. Um, the oil itself... Um, so I'm using this thing, Yama Lube, um, there's the part number for it, let's see if I can find a part number, it's the FCW 10W30 oil, um, there's 10W40 as well which I wanted, they didn't have it in stock, but 10W30 works equally well, just don't take it under extremely high temperatures, or extremely low temperatures, then you need the 10W40, um, but for normal operating temperatures they should be fine. So you need four liters of this. Um, you need to replace the fuel filter, which is this guy. Um, and let's see if this has a part number. Yes, it does. 608WS24A00. It's a single fuel filter. So we basically replace the oil, oil filter, um, fuel filter. Um, and then gear oil. Gear oil, I have this guy, which is ADW20 Yamaha, genuine uh, one quart, so that's approximately a liter. I believe it takes a little bit less than that. Um, so you'll have some leftovers. Um, not much, but you can use it for the 200 hour service. It doesn't go bad as long as it's sealed in a container. And, uh, grease points. So there's a whole bunch of grease points they have in the manual. So I'll go, go through those. Um, I'll go through those at the end. So anyway, you grease them on the grease points. They're noted in the manual. Um, you replace or inspect the prop cotter pin. I actually replaced it already. They changed the prop, so I don't need to do that. Power tilt trim inspection. I've already done that. You will do that once you raise the motor anyway and lower it. So PCV inspection, shift cable inspection, check water that you're going to do anyway as part of the service, check the timing belt, you're going to do that anyway. 
when once the motor is running idle um, check the throttle cable you'll do that anyway just by running the motor um, check the thermostat that's fine and um, the, the thermostat you can just check digitally as well it'll show you because it is on a digital bus so it'll um, and I'll go through that a little bit if I have time and spark plugs 25 uh, nm torque um, these are the spark plugs these are 9470200437 uh, LKR6E um, and I believe this motor takes four of them so this is the first hundred hour service on it so I'll have to check I bought eight just in case so keep four on the boat just in case it needs a spark plug always good to have extras I got this as well this is the Yamaha plug adapter I had one for the Merc but um, I prefer to have one for the Yamaha as well so I bought that one um, I did buy some lubricating grease Yamaha lube you can also use the mercury grease which is actually better than this guy but I'll use this guy this time and see how the official grease does this is the Yamaha lube let me see if I can find a part number there you go so it's just 14 CT ACC grease accessory grease 14 ounce Let's see how this guy works, and if I think it's good, I'll use it. If I don't, I won't. Um, yeah, and I'll go through the basics of the procedure. And uh, so, basically, let me go through the breakdown of the bill. It's twenty-two bucks for the oil filter. Um, it's thirty-one bucks for six zero eight WS twenty-four. Um, WS24 is I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'm guessing that might be the oil. Oh no, oil is here. It's 40 bucks for the oil, it's uh, 20 bucks for the pump, it's 12 bucks for the grease, and 18 bucks for the gear lube, and then spark plugs are 90 bucks. That's for eight, you can get 45. And then gaskets. Oh yeah, there's a gaskets package as well. Which is basically all the gaskets you need. I believe it's in here somewhere. This is the gasket package. And I got some extra gaskets, and that is 9043008003. And that is a gasket. So, gasket. And then we have another gasket. Um, this is also a 9043008003. Spot number one, and then one more, and finally one more. And they're all the same. So you need four of these. Yeah, so I got four gaskets. Um, yeah, so that's four gaskets. And yeah, so that's about it. So it's about three hundred dollars. You can probably get a few bucks off because I bought some extra spark plugs and stuff. So you can probably get that down to two fifty or so. But that's your hundred dollars service. Um,
Yeah, so what does the 100 hours service entail? If you're interested, I might put this up. I don't know if I have time for that, but, uh, but the basics are, um, like I covered the four couple of steps. Um, for spark plugs, I basically just replace them every year, so I don't bother inspecting them. It's too much of a hassle to remove them and inspect them. The F1 on 5, 115 horsepower, you basically just remove the cap and basically uh, unbolt the spark plug with a nice uh, deep socket and remove it. And there are four spark plugs. Replace them all. Um, don't bother inspecting, just toss the old ones out. Uh, and then tighten them to uh, 25 newton meters of torque. Um, and you can ignore the rest about that. The F130. A lot about spark plugs which you can ignore because you've just replaced all of them. Uh, standard oil change. I don't like to do this oil changer. I just uh, pretty much just drain the thing directly into a bucket. So um, yeah, it's basically just drain the whole thing and uh, uh, change the oil out basically. Um, idle speed test, just basically check it. Um, so tilt the outboard, check that it runs, idles nicely, no change in RPM. Pretty straightforward. They recommended the Lama Yama Lube oil, and um, it takes roughly 3.2 liters. So you have a four liter thing, you get about 800 mils to spare. So you can clean stuff with the oil. Um, so I like to like drain the first oil, put maybe a few, maybe 100 milliliters in it, and just sort of move it up and down, make sure it's. Uh, Pretty much covered and remove the old oil and then that can also be drained out and then refill it clean. Um, Propeller is fairly straightforward if you replace the prop. It's not too complicated. So the inspection sh and uh, basically the replacement should not take more than a couple of hours. Um, it's a standard procedure for pretty much all outboards. I have some videos of doing it on a Merc. I might do this for this one, we'll see how it goes. Um, simple inspection of anodes. Check the anodes and not corroded. If they're corroded, just replace them. Yeah, so that's about it. It's a fairly simple process. It'll take you about a day on a weekend, something like that. I might video it, it just takes a, it, it takes way longer with the video, so I don't know if I will. Anyway, so here we are. Um, about 300 bucks for the parts, get uh, four, uh, four of the gaskets and replace them and then um, yeah that should be it. So anodes, bunch of inspections, change the oil, change the gear oil, um, grease some stuff, um, replace a whole bunch of parts and that's your 100 hours service done. For 300 hours I'd recommend um, and for thousand hours, I'd recommend taking it in and spending thousand dollars and having them do it professionally. Because impeller and water pump replacement might be a bit complicated. Um, timing belt and exhaust will definitely be complicated. So anyway, that's me for the hundred hour service. Uh, I might stretch this to a couple of videos or I might not. So that's it. See ya.